So, you've seen what we're going to do. Uh, so, today we are going to start stripping the stuff off and uh, getting to it. So. So we're back in the workshop um, today. The plan is to get the engine and gearbox out um, so that we can start looking at the chassis and stuff like that. And we've got a clear space to start looking at putting the EV related conversion stuff. We were going to take the engine and gearbox out in one go, but we've decided it's going to be easier just to split them, take the engine out separately, and take the gearbox out. So to do that, we're going to have bonnet off, grill panel off, um, and that'll give us the access to the engine. We're going to take the floor panels out in here uh, and the transmission tunnel that will give us access to the gearbox. We'll probably end up taking out the seat box as well just for ease um, and then we'll be able to take the engine out the front, gearbox out the middle uh, through the floor area and then um, by which time we won't have a lot left on. The bonnet will come off, the two doors come off because they just slip off. Um, so we'll have the tub and the bulkhead and the two wings left on. So we'll probably end up taking the tub off if we've got time to today. Um, so yeah, but before we do that, hit the subscribe button down there uh, and the little bell. And uh, yeah, we'll get started. Uh, so we're doing all right actually. So. So, as you can see, I've taken the engine out, um, which wasn't too bad, to be fair. Uh, even though we only did it, this mount had sheared off, uh, the rubber had sheared and undone that mount. Uh, all the bellows and bolts came out really easy, which was nice, and that was pretty much it. So we've pulled that out with the fork trucks, as you've seen. <coughs> Observations that we've made, the, the cross member in here, the original cross member has been taken out, to fit that straight six petrol engine in um, and they've just done a really bad job of it they've just welded in a bit of angle iron um, and I've done that really poorly as well but so that's a bit more work for us so we're gonna have to put that back in uh, I want the chassis to, to be as original as it can in, in terms of uh, I don't want to cut them shut um, so we'll fix that <coughs> no big deal in there where the steering box is, we find a big ugly Australian Sprider that definitely wants to kill me. Um, so we're steering clear of him or her. Uh, and yeah, everything else in here is pretty straightforward. Obviously we've still got the gearbox in there um, to attack next. Uh, I was just digging out some bits of mud and stuff in there on that cross member. Um, but other than that, the chassis rails are really good. It's just that cross member. There's a crack in the front that we already knew about. But um, condition-wise, everything's good in here. The bulkhead, you can see, is in beautiful condition, um, literally everywhere. So I'm really, really stoked about that because that's pretty good. So next job I will show you around here is we're going to jump in and carry on taking out the seat box. Uh, obviously, we've taken out the floor panel there, um, so you can see that we've got to the to the gearbox. We've got the bellows and bolts out and everything. Um, we've undone the, the, the gearbox mounts as well, so the, it is just sat there ready to come out. We're just going to take, take the, the um, seat box out, which will just give us better access. It means that we can get the forward lift in to lift it out um, and just make life so much easier. So we're going to crack on with that and keep going.
So that's the end of our day today. Uh, not had a bad one actually, got a fair bit done, so you can come and have a look. Engine and gearbox is out. So we've got this nice gap in here um, to put some EV related stuff. Just want to show you this uh, front cross member because I don't think we did earlier. But um, you can see this proper Aussie Agri spec uh, front cross member where they've cut it out literally there and there. Uh, and then just welded in a bit of uh, angle iron to clear the straight six engine. You can see the front uh, of the cross member as well. So this is the the sort of uh, bellowsing cross member. And you can see here how absolutely mullered it is and bashed in it is. That should probably, from about my finger, it should be a, another two inches down and flat and it's just been battered. So unfortunately that's another cross member we've got to cut out and re replace. Um, and then if we take a look around the other side, I'll show you in this big old gap here, where we've got the seat box out, the floor out, um, obviously no gearbox or transfer box in there. So next job for another day is fuel tank out, and then that will be all of the uh, internal combustion engine stuff out of there. Uh, and then we can start looking at working on the chassis and, and uh, mocking up for mounting the transfer box and then the EV stuff. So that's the end of uh, the strip down, as you can see, we've pretty much got it down to next to nothing. We've got two wings and uh, a bulkhead left on the rolling chassis, which is pretty good going really. Um, it's not been too bad of a job. Next task really is to get this outside, get it jet washed off, um, and uh, just sort of get all the old mud off of it and dirt and stuff that's on it still. Um, and then we can look at um, repairing the rear cross member, this gearbox cross member or clutch cross member underneath bellows in, and then the one at the front that we showed you as well. Um, and then that will be the chassis solid um, and ready for treatment really. Uh, after that, tasks are we need to mock up the transfer box in here so we can do any other welding before we put paint on the chassis. Uh, likewise with the EV motor as well, so we want to stick that in the bulkhead, uh, in front of the bulkhead, uh, in the engine bay, and get it seat, you know, get it in its position where it's happy and it's um, ultimately going to live. Uh, and then after that, we're on to restoring the axles and the springs, and moving on with uh, the build paint, which will be uh, which will be nice. So, uh, if you want to carry on watching, hit the subscribe button below uh, and the little bell so that you get notifications of when we bring out new videos. And uh, yeah, see us back here, hopefully doing some cool stuff uh, in the next video.